I just returned from two months in India. It was my 80th trip, but my experience of India remains the same as on my first. I continue to lament the loss of the wonder that was India. In my 50 years of study of India's ancient texts, I become absorbed in the India that was. My heart lives in that India, which is a glorious India that extolled spiritual values that gave the world the Vedas, avatars, yoga, Ayurveda, that revered virtuous heroes, pristine rivers and mountains, an agrarian-based India that held in esteem women, elders, and cows, and orderly India ruled by great kings. But the India of today is a much different place. It's a country diseased by materialism that worship actors and cricket players, views nuclear warheads as its real asset, polluted its sacred rivers, cut down verdant forests, soiled its streets with garbage and overflowing sewage. India has become a country where industrialization and technology fuel an economy of greed and where women are sense objects and cows make it the top leather exporter. India is a place where corruption is the norm. Bribes the main currency, and believe it or not, jailed politicians win elections. I cry for the wonder that was India. You ask, why do I go back? My answer is to treasure what remains of its holy places, where I block out the present and absorb myself in the mantras, books, and speak of the wonder that lies beneath what we see at the present, where I touch the essence of India, which is a wonderful transcendental abode. That's why I go back and I'll continue to return. And as I do, I will continue to lament the loss of the wonder that was India.